This lab wants to know the users that are stored inside of the LDAP directory. Using a new tab, we'll go to the conference rooms lookup page, click find available rooms, and these two rooms come back. It doesn't look like there's any input elements at first other than the button. If we take a closer look at this area on the page, what we'll notice is that there's a form that gets submitted. And then there's also a button that you can click, the one that we already clicked on the page. But that's not the only elements that are inside the form. So if you take a look at the form itself, there's going to be the button, which we can click on with our input selector here. And that gets us pretty close to the other elements in the form. you also notice there's a hidden field, and it has a name of default room common name and a value of 1F104. We can unhide this just by changing the type. And that gives us the ability to change the input. We also could use a proxy. We could unhide the field with Burp Suite. There's lots of different options. But instead of using 1F104, what if we used a wildcard, meaning just pull back all of the common names that match that entry? So we click on Find Available Room. And we notice that not only are the two room common names pulled back, but also some others, groups, and users alike. And inside of this list is the answer to the lab. So we select the answer, hit submit, and find that's the correct answer.